So how do we grow cucumber in a chain link fence or supported by a chain link fence but then growing the cucumbers in containers. So in this uh, video I'm going to demonstrate to you how we can grow cucumbers in plastic containers along a chain link fence maybe in your compound or any other suitable location. So the requirements for growing the cucumbers in containers under chain link fence will be basically three items you will need the plastic containers right you'll need the plastic containers and the containers we're using here are the 18.7 bottle water containers which have been cut into half and each of the containers has had holes being pricked at the bottom to facilitate drainage of water from the container so that's the first requirement you'll need the uh, containers of bottled water which will cut into two then the other thing you'll need of course is the seeds the cucumber seeds which you're going to sow in your containers and then thirdly you'll also need the chain link fence around your compound this chain link fence or any other uh, type of chain link fence but this one the size of the spaces is adequate to support the the growth of the cucumbers along the fence as you are going to see in this video so these bottle containers after you have uh, cut them into half and then you have already made holes at the bottom of the container then you are going to put soil in them and of course when you're putting the soil for the first time when you're when you're putting the soil for the first time to sow the seeds put the soil up to around this level so don't fill it up yet up to the brim put it up to around this level why do we leave some space especially during the sowing we leave some space so that after the seeds have germinated and have attained a height of about uh, let's say 10 centimeter then you add more soil to fill up the space and by that by doing that you shall be supporting those seedlings in order for them not to be easily blown uh, and broken by the wind which sometimes can so much blow on your plants so ensure that you just fill the soil up to around this level then in preparing the soil remember you also have to mix the soil with adequate amounts of organic manure and preferably the organic manure you can use in this case is usually the uh, animal manure maybe cow dung or the, the the droppings from maybe chicken or even from goats or sheep or any other animal that you could be having on your farm so ensure that you mix the soil well with the organic manure so that it provides adequate nutrients to your plants as they are growing so after you've done that and the um, cucumbers have then germinated then you now need to start maintaining your cucumbers in your container so that they nicely grow within the within the containers and along the fence now after you have sown your seeds in the soil within the container ensure that you also keep watering the container regularly ensure you also keep watering the container regularly in order to provide the suitable conditions for the seeds to actually germinate and also to maintain the seedlings after they have germinated to adequate levels and this is especially so during the dry seasons or on the days when it does not rain just ensure that you provide adequate amount of water to your seeds as they are germinate as they are going to germinate and also support the seedlings by providing them with water regularly so that's a very good uh, requirement for ensuring that your seeds germinate and also your plants thrive as they are growing now as the plant continues growing to attain a suitable uh, amount of height then it is necessary that you support the plants onto the chain link fence by using uh, small strings of maybe um, plastic material small strings of plastic material like this one which we have had here to tie 
your cucumbers onto the chain link fence. Although the cucumbers also have their own method of supporting themselves onto the chain link fence, but it's also necessary that you actually support them further by tying some parts of their stems onto the chain link fence so that they don't fall off when blown by so much of wind, especially during the very heavy windy days. So ensure that you support your plants along the chain link fence. Now, as the plant continues to grow, as the, as the plant continues to grow, you realize that after it has attained a suitable amount of height, then it will start uh, putting flowers. And cucumber flowers in this case are these yellow flowers which you are seeing all over on the plants. Those yellow flowers you are seeing all over on the plants, those are the flowers which are going to give us fruit. So each flower that you see there is potentially a fruit unless something interferes with the flower and it falls off. All of them are potentially a cucumber fruit. So ensure that you maintain these flowers well by maintaining an environment where there is no too much shaking of the plant, either by wind or even by children playing around the plants. So that when the flowers uh, continue forming, they actually start forming the shape of the fruit as you can see with this flower here, right? You can see that flower is already forming the shape of the fruit. And the advantage with the outside growing of these cucumbers is that pollination will easily be done by the small insects like bees or even other uh, ba sorry, butterflies as they come to suck the nectar from the flowers. So on one or two occasions, if I zoom in on one or two of the flowers, you'll be able to see either a bee inside the flower or a small butterfly around the flower. So those are the ones which are going to help in facilitating pollination. For the, uh -huh, You can see that bee there. You can see the bee there in that flower. So those are the ones which are going to facilitate the pollination of the flowers to ensure that the fruit really nicely forms within the flower to give us the cucumber. You can see that bee there struggling hard to suck up the nectar from the flower and in the process of doing so it actually facilitates the process of pollinating the flowers so that they give us the cucumber fruits all right so as i told you ensure that you maintain the support onto the uh, chain link fence by tying the cucumber plants with small strings plastic strings onto the chain link fence and when you see that the cucumber has formed its own support uh, structures, try to enhance the, the coiling of that support structure onto the uh, chain link fence so that you, your cucumbers have enough support so that they don't off, the plants don't fall off from the support system there. Because remember, we are just taking advantage of that chain link fence to facilitate us to grow some fruit for our own meals. And in this case, the chain link fence is quite long and we have put uh, these plastic containers along that uh, area where the chain link fence has been put. So you can see there are several uh, plastic containers there which are running along the length of this chain link fence. Now, as the butterflies and uh, bees are pollinating your flowers, there is something which you need to be careful about when the process of pollination is going on or during the process of flowering. During that time, even if your plant is a little bit infested with some insects, uh, those are destructive insects, you should be avoiding the temptation to spray your plants with harmful insecticides. Reason being, those harmful insecticides, they will actually scare away your uh, beneficial insects which have come to pollinate your flowers so during that time please ensure that you avoid spraying your plants with harmful insecticide so that you don't scare away the bees and the butterflies which can nicely pollinate uh, your flowers now as the cucumbers form from the flowers you realize that the plant becomes heavier and 
as the weight of the plant increases, then it also requires that you continue supporting the plant with even more strings being tied through the stems of the plant onto the chain link fence so that as the fruits keep forming they don't end up overpowering the weight of the plant and throwing the plant completely down to the ground so ensure that as the fruits keep forming as the weight of the plants increase increase also the support you give onto the plants onto the chain link fence now once you've done that then you'll have to wait for a suitable period of time to facilitate the flowers sorry to facilitate the cucumber fruits to actually form to a suitable uh, size after which you'll then be able to harvest them and after harvesting the cucumbers what do you do do you leave the cucumber to grow for a second round of uh, flowering and then fruits no you don't have to do that because most of the cucumbers after they have put fruits for the first round they usually don't proceed to put fruits and flower sorry flowers and fruits for a subsequent round instead the plants actually start to dry off so meaning that after the plants have actually dried off then you have another source of organic manure to mix into your containers for the next planting cycle right so after you have harvested the cucumbers the dried plants from the cucumber uh, that you've harvested you can just cut them into very small pieces and mix them up into the uh, into the soil so that it provides additional organic manure for the next season or for the next round of planting which you can then maintain that cycle that after you've uh, mixed your soil with the uh, dried cucumber plants and they have grown to a good extent and you have harvested for, from the next cycle you just do the same uh, sequence of events so that you keep on adding some organic manure into your soil so that the plants which are going to be grown there sorry the, the cucumbers which are going to be grown there in the subsequent rounds have adequate supply of the organic manure so i'm going to take you a little bit round to the next uh, place where we have some small seedlings of the cucumbers so that you see how they are when they are still young so all these are cucumbers so here we have the young seedlings of the cucumbers still being uh, supported onto the chain link fence with small uh, plastic material strings you can see this plastic material string is the one being used to uh, support the uh, seedlings of the cucumbers onto the chain link fence and as I told you the soil should be put to a suitable height so that after the seedlings have uh, sprouted from the ground then you keep on adding some soil to support their uh, growth and also to ensure that they are not easily broken by heavy wind when it blows across your planting area so the other method of preventing your plants from being broken by heavy wind when it blows along the planting area is to put small uh, plastic uh, containers which have been cut into uh, the middle way so that that protects some shielding of the plant against some heavy wind that can blow against your plants when they are still young and progressively uh, growing so we have a good amount of uh, cucumbers here which we're going to give some time to grow and then the fruits will start forming in due course of time and remember we're just taking advantage of the chain link fence which is being used as the support here for the cucumbers as they grow in the backyard garden you can see all these are cucumbers being grown on the plastic containers up to that level up to the other side there that's the last uh, plastic container having the cucumber seedlings so to maintain a good supply of cucumbers you need to ensure that you don't plant all your containers at the same time except if you're intending to plant for the purpose of selling some to the market it's better you plant some uh, seeds in the containers 
allow the plants to reach a certain level before you plant the next batch of seeds so that you don't have all your cucumbers growing at the same time and then at the end of the day you have too much cucumbers some of which you may not be able to use even if you will use with your neighbors you just need to have a good good interval for the planting so that you don't have any too much of cucumbers at any uh, one time so that's what we have done here for the plants which are there on that side we grew them way earlier before we then planted this these other seedlings which are on these other containers to ensure that we have a good uh, separation distance between the harvests of the uh, between the harvests of the cucumbers from these batches of containers so as a additional uh, view we can see the chinese uh, cabbage is growing here it's growing quite well with a few of them of course defaced by the uh, blight which affects some of the leaves of the Chinese cabbage but it's still manageable because you don't have to eat all the leaves some of the leaves which are defaced you can easily throw them away or even turn them into uh, organic manure and apart from using them as organic manure of course you can also feed onto your domestic animals like the chicken they really like uh, green vegetables so you can use some of them to feed the chicken in your homestead so those are the cucumbers which are growing in this our 18.7 liter plastic containers we hope possibly that after getting the fruits from these cucumbers i'll be able to come back and show you how many fruits we have been able to obtain from each of the plants which are growing there in our plastic containers so that you get a hint of how much of cucumbers you can be able to harvest from your own backyard just by taking advantage of the chain link fence that you're using to actually fence off your compound So thank you very much. I hope you've been able to learn one or two things on growing cucumbers in plastic containers in your homestead so that you don't have to buy those cucumbers from the market. Remember, that money you save from buying cucumbers from the market, you could potentially use it to buy other things, maybe some onions or tomatoes or garlic if you're not growing those specific plants in your backyard.